There are some of our brothers and sisters who suffer in silence. Now, there are personal burdens that we all carry and bear, but there are also some storms and trials that we go through that the Lord wants us to share that with others. Make that need known. And then if it's a practical need, that is an opportunity for us to respond in a practical way to show our love, to show our fellowship, to show that we are united, we are family. And sometimes because we're in over our heads, it's not something to be processed practically in the natural, we go to the Lord in prayer. So every time we have a need that is beyond our ability to accomplish, to fulfill, to satisfy, to solve, we go to the Lord in prayer. Guess what? When he answers that prayer, brings glory to him. Because if I suffer silently on something that can only be accomplished by the Lord intervening, I tell nobody about it, and I petition the Lord privately in prayer, and he answers that prayer, he gets glory from me. He wants to receive glory from all his children, but he only gets it from me. But if I make my need known to you and say, you know, this is bigger than me, it's bigger than us, the Lord's going to have to intervene. So we seek him in prayer, and then he answers the prayer. Now all of us are giving him glory. All of us are praising. How many times have we prayed for our dear friends and family here to intervene in a medical condition, situation? He answers that prayer. We're all rejoicing. We are all rejoicing. We're all giving him praise. None of us are taking credit for it. And so he gets more glory. He gets more praise. He gets more honor by us sharing our needs. 